up everyone, Danny from Danny Max Kitchen, good to see you. So it is no secret that I will pretty much eat anything that comes out of the sea, except for maybe syringes, diapers, medical waste, lost bathing suits, you know, things like that, not going there. Anyway, I was lucky enough to grow up in a fishing town with fresh fish markets at my disposal right around the block, very, very lucky, awesome stuff. One of my favorite things to eat though are mussels. I have a great recipe for you guys. Mussels, we're gonna make an awesome sauce with a little white wine, some saffron, red and yellow tomatoes, and a little fresh oregano, so let's get going. So we got lots of really cool stuff for you to use today. We have an ounce and a half of garlic chopped, one bunch of oregano chopped, a real tiny amount of butter that we're gonna use at the end, about a tablespoon. We're using some saffron. Saffron comes from the crocus flower and is among the most expensive spices in the world. A little bit goes a long way, that's why we're only using a pinch here. Red and yellow tomatoes, scallions chopped, this is about three bunches. One cherry pepper, chopped up pretty good. Prince Edward Island mussels, I'm using about two pounds here. Vegetable stock, you can use vegetable stock, chicken stock, fish stock, whatever you have at your disposal. One onion, sliced, not chopped. Just a little bit of olive oil, seasoning, and a little bit of white wine. So I've gotten myself a pretty large sauce pot. I've added two ounces of olive oil. We're gonna add our one onion sliced and we're gonna cook for two minutes. Give it a good stir. After two minutes, we're gonna put our garlic in. So two minutes have passed, put the garlic in, cook for another minute or two, get it good and coated. A minute or two has passed, add these beautiful tomatoes, add the scallions, cook this mixture for another two minutes. Roughly two minutes have passed, add about two ounces of white wine. I'm using Pinot Grigio, use Chardonnay, Pinot Grigio, whatever you like. Cook for another three to four minutes, burn off the alcohol. So the alcohol has been burned off. Add your stock, four ounces. Add the saffron, just a pinch, that's all you need. Your fresh oregano, really gonna spice it up, jazz it up nicely rather and the cherry peppers. These peppers are spicy. Just to let you know, you can omit this ingredient. I like my food spicy, I will not apologize for it. Stir that all in together. Bring it up to a boil. Should take about two minutes. Now that we're boiling, season this up. Some fresh ground pepper. Some salt. Mix it all in, and add the mussels. All this flavor is gonna infuse into these mussels. It's gonna be sick, you're gonna love it. Really, all you need to do now, cover it. Five minutes, that's all it is. These are gonna open up and we're set. After about two minutes, give them a quick toss. Get them nice and coated. Throw that top back on and keep cooking. Three more minutes, two to three more minutes. We'll see, we'll check. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, that was fantastic. We're definitely done, you know they're done. All the muscles will be open. Turn off your flame. At this point, I want you to add that last tiny little bit of butter, about a tablespoon. Just really work it into the sauce. Just gonna add a little bit of creaminess to it. And we're about ready to plate. I'm gonna start plating these by hand. Be careful not to burn yourself. If it starts getting too hot for you, absolutely by all means, use your tongs. 
I don't expect you to burn the hell out of your fingers. All that's left to do is sauce these bad boys up. Really get them nice and covered. Get yourself some bread too, because you're gonna have sauce left over. You don't wanna waste it. Throw on a few extra scallions for color. We are set. Enjoy. Cool, so what'd you think? I really hope you like this recipe. I absolutely love mussels and I was stoked that I was able to share this recipe with you guys. Just a suggestion if you're making this for dinner, cook yourself up some pasta. This goes great over pasta. Again, great making this for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, Danny from Danny Max Kitchen. Good seeing you.